Hello, my name is David. Today I want to show you the basics of using Blender as a modeling tool for Unreal Engine 4 in less than 5 minutes. Number 1. Units and Axes In Unreal, one unit equals 1 cm. In Blender you can set the units as required. To do this, go to the Scene Properties and select Metric with a scale of 0.01. You can then press N to check the dimensions of your object as it will be in the game. When you use these settings, you should also adjust the clip of the camera so that far away objects can still be seen in the 3D view. Forward in Blender is defined as negative Y. Unreal uses positive X. To accommodate that, you should rotate your meshes around the Z axis by 90 degree. Make sure to apply the rotation by hitting Ctrl A and selecting Rotation before exporting. Number 2. Static Meshes To use a static mesh from Blender and Unreal, you will have to export it as an FBX file. If you can't find the FBX exporter, go to User Preferences, Add-ons and activate the Autodesk FBX plugin. You may want to save your user settings so you won't have to do that again in the future. For static meshes you should be happy with the default settings most of the time, but let's go over the most important ones. If you only want to export parts of your scene, hit the Selected Objects checkbox. The next value controls the scale, though I'd be careful with this. I'm not sure if it works perfectly with UVs, animation, morph targets and stuff, so if possible you should prefer getting the scale right beforehand. Now these axes here make absolutely no sense to me, but um, they work. So whatever, don't touch them, you'll be fine. You can also select the types of objects you want to export. For static meshes, just check mesh and ignore the rest. The FBX file can be imported into Unreal using the import button or just simple drag and drop. We go into detail on these settings later, just click import, ignore the warning and your mesh will appear in the content browser. The tooltip says collision primitives 0, which means that your mesh doesn't have any collision right now. You can generate a collision mesh directly in Unreal or if you need more control use Blender to do that. To create a collision shape in Blender, create a second object and name it UCX underscore your object's name. UCX stands for Unreal Convex Collision. That means that your collision shape should be convex. In the example, my object is called Suzanne and the collision shape will be called UCX underscore Suzanne. If you need multiple collision shapes, call them UCX underscore Suzanne underscore 01 and so forth. If you want to have a perfect sphere as collision shape, you can do that by adding a sphere object in Blender and naming it USP underscore your object's name. You will get both a more even sphere and better performance. Let's talk about materials and UV maps. While Unreal can import materials from FBX files, I had no luck getting it to work with Blender. I recommend that you don't waste your time there and just create the Unreal materials by hand. UV maps get exported nicely. Unreal requires a special UV map for light mapping that does not overlap and is constrained to the 0 to 1 texture space. That means it must not exceed the texture. In the object properties, create a second UV channel. Blender has a UV unwrapping function called light map pack but it's not ideal for use with Unreal. The resulting UV map is highly disconnected, which can lead to artifacts. You unfortunately will have to do some manual work in Blender here. In Unreal, you can select the UV channel to use for light mapping in the mesh's properties using the light map coordinate index. Number 3. Skeleton meshes. Skeleton meshes have some pitfalls. Double check that your rotation and scale are correct and applied, again using Ctrl A, before starting to create animations otherwise you may run into trouble later. During export, make sure that armature and mesh are selected and that include animation and all actions are checked. You can disable include default take if you don't need that. Importing a skeleton mesh into Unreal has some other options than static meshes. If you created morph targets, check the import morph targets checkbox. The edit box next to import animations is a bit misleading. It doesn't affect which animations are imported, but only the naming. By default, animations are named your object's name, underscore, anim, underscore, name of the take. You can change that to something, underscore, name of the take, by typing something in this edit box. A very important option is use T0AS reference post down here. When importing skeleton meshes from Blender, use this in order to get the orientation correctly. Alright, that's it. You now know the most important stuff about using Blender with Unreal Engine 4. Be sure to always keep Blender up to date because the FBX exporter is still in development. Thanks for watching. If this tutorial was helpful and you want more of that, please subscribe. See you later.